The skateboard park at the Manchester Rec Park has served its patrons for more than three decades. But time has taken its toll, and some of the jumps and tubes riders have used to hone their skills are starting to show some wear and tear. A new town committee to facilitate and renovate the skateboard park has been formed, and supporters of the park turned out at a meeting of the town select board on Tuesday, February 6th, to try and breathe some new life into the idea. One main question was whether or not it would be better to renovate the existing park or to build a new one designed for contemporary standards. A renovation could be done for much less money. Uh, I just agree that, or think the way he is thinking, let's do something now. Show that we're doing something. These kids really just want to I mean, I don't know if you guys are familiar with the project they did up in Ludlow, but uh, a lot of it's like do-it-yourself concrete style. And my buddies up there built, like I'd say, like 70% of the concrete work up there. There's certain features they made up there for like under 400 bucks that are whoppers. And if we got a committee together to figure out some basic updates like that, yeah. off minimal input, like I have enough connections and know guys who are willing to build, we can get them materials and like a little bit of cash going. It's pretty easy to put something in that's at least semi-permanent and very skatable. Ludlow has created like a whole skate park up there off just local funding. Just like the guy. About five years ago, a proposal surfaced to overhaul and renovate the park, and the town pledged a $50,000 match to privately raised funds. The campaign to raise that $50,000 of private money fell short of the mark after raising a little over $11,000, and progress stalled. I mean, legitimately, right here, five years ago, I spent over $600 at an auction over at the Perfect Wife. Not one change has been done to that place since I purchased this right here, along with many other people making a donation. That's why it's here today, because I'd like to make this known that people have donated. I haven't seen any changes. Yes, I'm, I, I don't know much about what you guys do, and I apologize. But my real question is, one, to know a little bit more, how long has this been in play? But skateboard fans haven't given up, and a new plan has been developed to fit a new skateboard park into a new location at the southern end of the park near the existing tennis courts. The rec park is the center of much new activity, with a proposed running track under consideration along with the proposed skateboard park, making 2018 a good year to revisit the overhaul. Town manager John O'Keefe explained where things stood in a subsequent interview. Even at that time, five years ago, it was identified that we needed a new park. Um, so the select board and, and town management and a group of people uh, brought the idea forward that the town would provide $50,000 uh, for the improvement of a, of a park somewhere in the Dan L. Thompson Memorial Park, a skateboard park, um, but that that, re that would require a one-for-one -one match. So in order to access the full $50,000 from the CERC fund, $50,000 has to be brought forward from private fundraising and grants. Um, we haven't had a lot of success uh, up to this point. Um, we have about $10,000, about $11,000 in the bank right now to match the 50. Um, we have other commitments now that we're ramping up our efforts to replace the park. We do have uh, more people that are coming forward and pledging money. Um, it looks like a new park uh, would be over $100,000. We're thinking more like $150,000 would be a new concrete park uh, based on other, other examples that we found in other places. O'Keefe thought that simply trying to renovate the existing park didn't make much sense. I, I really don't think that's a good idea. There, there does come a point, you know, when you buy a house, there comes a point where it's good money after bad, that by the time you rip apart all four walls and replace them, you probably would have been better off starting from scratch. Um, you know, a lot of the support pieces, you know, just it's very difficult to put screws into them. Uh, the metal would have to be replaced. I mean, it really is to the point where trying to fix the existing ramps would probably cost more when it comes to labor and materials than actually starting over again. So what's the plan at this point? It's, it's to build a, a new facility, a concrete facility, down at that end of the park, the southern, I guess it's the... Southern end. Southern end. Um, um, there's a couple spots that we're looking at. You know, we, we're looking at it from, a, from a, uh, an overall planning perspective. Uh, we're looking for a place that's large enough uh, to host the skateboard park based on what we think is the appropriate size. Um, but we also want an area that's not too big if you put a skateboard park in the middle of a large field, you've now uh, limited the, the amount of use that the other areas could be used for. So, um, you know, I think we're looking at three areas. Uh, the current area is still on the table. Um, I think we talked at the slide board meeting, though, however, that this building that we're in right now, the park house, does have an option to be expanded northward. And if that happens, the skateboard park would then be 
demolished. So that doesn't seem like a really good option to know that you have long-term options to expand a structure and that you're planning to put something permanent in that space anyways. So to me, that doesn't make a lot of sense. Um, then there's the area south of the tennis courts, which actually has really good access to parking. Um, there's utilities there, and it's close enough to the bathrooms. And then there's the area south of Applejack Field, uh, kind of between Applejack Field and the Rod and Gun Club. Uh, that's a possibility as well. Wesley Boucher is one of the members of the committee and eager to get things restarted. He thinks a renovation of the existing park might be the way to go to get the park back up to standard as quickly as possible. I believe that it should be renovated to show a purpose, show something is being done. Um, most of the stuff that's there is reusable or rebuildable. Whether it lasts 10 to 20 years, it's lasted 30 years now, I believe. Uh, maybe we do another fundraiser in 30 years and probably bring up a, twice as much money. I don't use the skate park, my children will. Uh, I, I just want to see them have a place that's safe. Uh, they're not going to get hurt on. Pretty much just sums it up. I mean, there's no other way to explain it. The committee will begin meeting shortly. If people want to donate to the existing GoFundMe campaign, O'Keefe explained how to do it. So we still have a GoFundMe campaign. Uh, there's actually fees associated with that. So if somebody wants to, to donate by credit card, that's a good way to do it. If people want to donate by, by check, the um, best place to do that is actually Town Hall. For the GNET TV News Project, I'm Andrew McKeever.